Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical at the tabletop again with another quick little video. Uh, this one over the Magpul Glock Enhanced Magwell, okay? Um, recently picked this up and put it on the gun and I'm really liking it, especially for the money. These things are super inexpensive. They, they're like 20 bucks and very functional, very functional indeed. This one is for a Glock 17 Gen 4. And you can see all the other models that they make them for. I don't know if they're currently making them for the Gen 5s. There is the SKU and the part number and all that stuff. You know, simple little thing. Real cheap, inexpensive thing, but it works. And that's what I like about it. Inside, you got your little manual paperwork stuff. And that's it. So, simple little box. Packaging, all that stuff. Get that out of the way. And uh, let's talk about it. So, I got it running on my Glock 17. And here is a look of it. So it does not add much to the gun, which I like a lot. It's not some big honking competition magwell that is going to, you know, preclude you from carrying it. You can still put this on your gun. It does not add basic. It's it, it's negligible, um, you know, what it adds to the gun as far as the width or uh, the length of the grip. And so you can still conceal carry. You know, you're 19, you're 17, whatever. Um, but it is aiding you in reloading those mags. Um, obviously, purpose of a mag well. What I really like a lot is that it, it covers up the little butt. You know, a lot of guys get those little butt plugs for their Glock and stuff, and that's great. But you might as well just do this because not only does it cover that up, it also aids in reloading a mag. So it is flared, and it is, you know opened up a little bit um, again it's it's not really a competition style magwell but you do gain ease of reloading and you still keep the slim you know standard profile for the most part uh, it installs extremely simply and um, just a little screw in the back you it's got a little housing that goes up into the butt plug area and uh, it's got some threads in there and then the screw. They do not provide you the Allen key, or at least if they do, I did not get one with mine. Um, but you set it in there, and what helps a lot is if you kind of put it on a hard surface and press down, make sure everything's flush, and then you just screw in the screw. You know, I would Loctite it if I were you. Um, however, I have not Loctited this one just to see if it would back out with some shooting, and it has not yet. Uh, in a few hundred rounds so but I probably will do that just to make extra sure uh, especially because I'm really liking it but yeah I got it flushed up it's in there nice and good and tight and uh, it looks good on the gun you know it doesn't really add size or width like I said and uh, it adds a lot of functionality so the biggest part is, is the little butt plug thing that's a big uh, place where you know the opening of the rear of the Glock um, it does hang you up. You can really easily get hung up on a reload, you know, because it's open and it'll catch on that. Um, the magwell does work. It is nicely beveled. And uh, I did notice that you still can get hung up on it um, going in if you're too deep on this side. So you can get hung up right there. Uh, you'd have to be at a pretty awkward angle to, to get caught up in that. But if you hit it from the sides... Um, from the back, I mean, you're just going straight in there, bumping the tripod here. Let's see if I can get it a better angle um, for that. But yeah, you're just in there, and then you're good to go. The other thing, too, is if you are running flush mags, like factory mags, um, they will still stick out a little bit, so that's fine. But they're not going to stick out as much as they would if you were running like Terran Tactical base plates or like a plus two extension from Glock or whatever. So if you did encounter like a double feed or something like that where you had to rip and strip the magazine out of there, you do still, you know, it does still allow you to get your, your thumb back there or finger and then on the front on the lip here. And you can still get a, a, a decent grip on that to be able to rip and strip it out. Um... But it is easier to do that without the magwell. So maybe if you're running this as a duty gun or a competition gun or a carry gun, you might want to think about adding a little bit of a bigger base plate. But in the meantime, it's still functional. It still works if you want to keep that concealability. And uh, mags lock upgrade, it did not change any of the reliability or functionality of the gun. And like I said, you know, you don't even feel it in your grip and it just works it absolutely works and i'm running this as my primary defensive gun for the house i also carry this sometimes and um, from time to time i shoot it in idpa so i wanted to try out the magwell you know 
to uh, ease up those reloads a little bit. And because uh, in IDPA, you do a lot of reloads, you're only limited to 10 shots, and so you reload the gun a lot. So, you know, the stock Magwell, you can definitely get it done, but for 20 bucks, this helps out a lot. And just for regular tactical, everyday defensive use, um, you know, fingers turn to flippers when adrenaline starts pumping, and uh, that kind of aids. You know, it, it, it keeps it simple um, when you're being stupid. And it helps you, you know, make up for, you know, maybe fumbly bumbly reloads and stuff like that. So I do like it a lot. It's highly recommended and it's super inexpensive. Magpul is a great company. They make a lot of great accessories for all types of different guns, Glocks, you know, ARs, different stuff like that, furniture. And I've been interested in these for a while. And I finally picked one up and I'm glad that I did. Again, super cheap, but super useful. So if you guys are running a Glock, you know, Gen 4 or previous... Uh, they got something for you and uh, try it out try it out guys it definitely works for me and it's probably going to work for you so that's the video guys thank you so much for watching make sure you check the links in the description box below stay tuned for all the stuff we got coming up next and like share comment subscribe people we'll catch you later peace